What's up everybody, Chris from Full Steam Designs. So you may have noticed that recently I got this new table saw and because of that I'm missing a bunch of my accessories like a router in my extension wing and a folding out feed table. So today we're gonna start working on some of those. Our first order of business is gonna to be to install one of these router insert plates so we can hold this Triton router that I've got. And we're also gonna install some of this combination T-Track. Now don't worry if your table saw didn't come with an extension wing like this. You can easily make your own out of some MDF and just some angle iron. All 
All right, so we've got the router and router plate and our T-Track installed. And you may notice that I actually spun this around because I didn't like where this handle was. And also I put my quick adjustment handle back here, which I didn't really like. A couple other things you may have noticed that I did. I replaced these wood screws here with bolts. I drilled some additional holes and installed screws to help support the front of this. And then I also went ahead and bolted this plate down and put my little adjustment screws in. And then I adjusted everything so it was nice and level. So now all we need to do is get working on the fence. All right, I've got my parts just loosely set here. And what you just saw us do is cut these two slots. And one of them is a half inch, and then the one that goes all the way through is a quarter inch. And what that's for is so we can fit these quarter 20 screws through here. And they're gonna attach to this square nut. And then we'll be able to slide those in this groove. And on the other side, we're gonna have another fence, which is split in the center, and we'll be able to spread those two pieces apart so that our dust can get extracted through the center. And we're gonna to need to cut a little notch here, and then this piece that's going to attach to the bottom of it, we're also going to need just a little notch there to clear the bit, and again, to let the dust get sucked up into the vacuum. And for the vacuum attachment, we're gonna be using this one and a half inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. This is just something that I had around. And as we start putting this together, we'll use our little brackets that we made here. We'll put a few in. And then when we get down to this one, we're gonna need a hole drilled in it. And the three that are on this side are all gonna need holes that this pipe is gonna fit through.
The most important piece of advice I can give you for this whole project is to constantly be checking square and you'll see that I'm doing that all the time. And as long as you're building this thing square, in the end, when you're all finished, it should come out square.
Well, that's it for this one. This thing is working better than expected and it looks great. As you can see right now, I'm just using a clamp to secure this to my fence. I might try to come up with something a little cleaner. I was thinking maybe even a couple of the mag switches. And I'd love to hear in the comments section if you guys have any better ideas. Thank you all for the support you've been giving me and a big shout out to these guys here for supporting me on Patreon. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I've got a lot more videos coming on upgrades that I'm gonna do to this saw, as well as a lot of other content. I'll see everybody over on this next video. I don't